Hi, this is Amit Bansal here and I am recording this video for SQLserverGeeks.com. In this video, I am going to show you a very specific behavior with one of the system stored procedures called SP underscore MS for each DB. Now SP underscore MS for each DB is a system stored procedure and it is widely used by SQL Server database administrators worldwide whenever they have to loop through all the databases in a SQL Server instance and have to perform some or the other activity. For example, if you want to loop through all the instances, uh, sorry, all the SQL Server databases in a particular instance and you may want to check the space consumed by the database, you may want to do a backup, so on and so forth, you can use this system stored procedure. Now this uh, stored procedure, SP underscore MS for each DB is unsupported and uh, because it is undocumented. In this demo, I will show you one specific uh, behavior where this stored procedure is going to break. Yes, this is not very commonly known that this stored procedure can break and it can also skip databases. So watch the demo and understand those scenarios where this stored procedure can break and you need to be careful about that. So let's get to the demo. So here is a very quick demo to show how this undocumented and unsupported system stored procedure SP underscore ms for each db uh, breaks in uh, under certain circumstances now here uh, i have a um, a script which uses this stored procedure and it actually generates um, an alter database command uh, for all the databases that have their auto create statistics uh, turned off so if i have a database in my instance where auto create statistics is turned off this uh, script is going to generate alter database command and set auto create statistics on for that database now when i run this particular script and i execute it it just says command completed successfully which means um, there were actually no databases that had their auto create statistics turned off now I will create this database and observe that this database SQL Maestro's com um, actually has um, single quotes as prefix and suffix. Now don't ask me why would I actually create um, a database with single quotes. Um, I mentioned it on my blog that I had the same question to my customer and no one had any answer. Probably this database was created with single quotes by some automated script years back so that's how single quotes got inserted into the database name well whatever the reason be uh, let's go and create this database now many would say that this uh, SQL server would actually not create a database with single quotes but that is incorrect if I run this SQL server actually goes and creates a database with SQL uh, maestros com and then you can observe those single quotes out there now what I'm going to do is I'll get into the properties of SQL maestros.com and get into the options and I have we have this property auto create statistics which is by default true and I am going to make it false this is what I'm going to do change it to false so let's change it to false and okay and now when I run this script again, ideally I would expect um, the alter database command to be created for my database SQL Maestro's com, but unfortunately the script breaks. And you can see I get an error message which says incorrect syntax near SQL Maestro's com. Now this is interesting because uh, SP underscore MS for each DB does not break. Uh, in all circumstances it depends on what uh, what kind of operation are we doing with this particular stored procedure um, and this was just one of the examples uh, where it breaks and uh, there could be many more so you need to be extra careful if you're using this uh, stored proc um, and uh, it goes without saying that it is undocumented it is unsupported so you really cannot complain when you're using it but you need to be careful because this this is a stored proc that is widely used in uh, widely used by DBAs for their maintenance tasks thanks so in this quick demo you have seen one of those scenarios when this system stored procedure can break 
um, and there are definitely more such scenarios. So be careful about that uh, whenever you use this uh, stored procedure. You can learn uh, more about us by visiting uh, sqlservergeeks.com. You can follow us on the Twitter at the rate SQL Server Geeks, Facebook slash SQL Server Geeks. If you want to know more about me, you can visit amitbansal.net and you can follow me on Twitter a underscore Bansal and on Facebook slash Amit Aris Bansal. Thanks for watching and do share the video.